Right. We want to bang Godzilla, Boober Lady. Fuck it, we're going to bang them all. Let's go. Giga choose pronouns. <laughs> you get to choose pronouns. I'm going for choo choo. World breaking news. I'm Brevity Orms, and this is my co host Lucky Cole with the world breaking news. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Raman. Ramamamamamamanor was my world, and the news is that we broke up. Aww. Aww, Lucky, I'm sorry to hear that. Huh. Also, a colossal creature has appeared near the North Pole. Mm. Are you bringing up Dai Kaiju to deflect from addressing your breakup? Yeah, yeah but the gigantic Kaiju known as Gigachu <laughs> is also a significant story. Ah. We may be buried. We may be buried the lead there. Like Ramamamamamanor buried my heart. <sighs> Let's get to the satellite footage. <laughs> what are we playing? Are you hiding your feelings behind satellite footage again? Zolfi, how's it going? Well... I also wanted to show Giga2 moving via the keyboard or controller. <gasps> oh, controller? Well, why didn't you say so? It's a healthy, it's healthy to cry, Lucky. There you go. Uh, More on as this story develops. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going home. All right. <laughs> I love the little running animation. Whoa, it's the boober lady. It's a volcano. Oh my God, it's Australia. Let's go say hello to Shipslam and Eliza and Breezy. Woo! Oh. A titanic scorpion tailed turtle is timidly traversing the Great Victoria Desert in Australia. Mm. Since no name has yet achieved public consensus, we're going to go to our online poll to name the creature. Mm. The results are in, and the name to have just barely beaten our Shelly McShell face is Turpio. Gigachu has enticed Turpio to depart from desert seclusion. Oh my god, we're going to the opera house. Oh wait, it can go in the water? No, I'm going to take it to the opera house. Here we go. World Breaking News Network. Gigachu and Turpio's reptilian rendezvous wrecks havoc at the Sydney Opera House. What, a dr what has driven the kaiju to bully our beloved Sydney Opera House? Well. There is a language of love in the leveling of landmarks, Lucky, and each strike can communicate compatibility. What? What you talking about, Brevity? Are you suggesting that kaiju are wooed by wanton destruction? Yes. I know I'm wooed by wanton soup. Take notes. Indeed, Unturbio is waiting for Gigachu's reply right now. I'll try to narrate the date as we go live at the scene. We go live at the scene with Eliza. Eliza, what have you got for us? Mm. Does Gigachu come here often? <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa! Woohoo! Yeah! Terpio is smitten by Gigachu's sociability. How does Terpio look? Fucking outstanding, bruv. Oh. Wait, what? Turpio doesn't take compliments well. Oh, no. Is this good? first time daping a hermit? Oh. Yeah, let's destroy the opera house some more. Gigachu was a... <laughs> Hikikomori. In Choose Youth! <coughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Tupia wants to know when what first attracted Gigachu to Zier. Ah. Oh. <laughs> what? Well, probably that mighty big tail. 
a hikikomori is a is a shot in like a stay at home. It's a neat. Someone who withdraws themselves from society, basically. Ah oh, dear. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna go two tail. Pretty happy with that. Ah. While appreciative turbans sell confers about their tail. What is Gig does Gigachu like the Sydney Opera House? No boo to the Sydney Opera House! Fuck the Sydney Opera House! Boo! Turpio is only here for Chew anyhow. Does Giga just chew kiss on the first date? Deal breaker question! Fuck yeah, I do. Yeah! Yeah! Turpio would tickly be too nervous, but he feels safe with Giga Chew. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> we did it! We've raised it to the ground. Prehistoric Paramours Act 1. Woo! Bye. Oh, they're following me. Highly sensitive shelled in intellectual. Saving. Right, let's go. Oh, should we go and see what Sweden's got to offer? Oh, there's Tokyo Tower. Taj Mahal. Birch Khalifa, Eki Batsugres. The Great Wall of China. We got America here. What the fuck is this? The Nuke Center. Oh, <laughs> destroy the trees! Fuck you, Greta. Screw your trees. Come on, we gotta go and see. Uh, we gotta go. What's that? Big Ben? No, where's Scandinavia? No, where's Scandinavia? Oh, I wanted to go see Jimmy. Oh, well. Let's go see Tokyo Tower. Sweden's on the water, yeah, I guess so. Well, breaking news network. Brevity, do you know the number one question to our viewers' minds? Does Giga Chew poop? No. no, that's number two. <laughs> I get it. Okay. The audio, the question is that intriguing our audience is how you are so in tune with the intentions of these kaiju. Is your degree in communications? Well. I practice Ishin Denshin Do. Oh my god. Uh, how nice. Study of the heart? Is it? No, it's not. How do you. How would I translate? Eh? Wait a minute. Hang on. It's like the the sound of the the. It's like the heart and soul. Like studying, you practice the heart and soul. I don't really understand. That's what it's basically talking about. I. It's kind of hard to translate to English. I don't know. How would you translate that, Seikatsu? It's like the heart and soul, right? Of something. What? Is that some strange monster dialect? Do you speak kaiju? <laughs> no, it's listening to the heart. Oh, there we go. Listening to the heart. Hmm. What are your thoughts on Turpio? Ah. Z is solitary, introverted soul who needs time to build trust. It's me! Ah. We'll come incompatible answers establish a success. Sufficient connection? My god, brain is uh, is really struggling to read these words. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, I suspect Turpio appreciates patience when it comes to missteps. Oh. They have plenty of time to discover and deepen their bond. Oh, this game is too good already. It's too good. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. oh. L let's let's see your insight and in action and learn more at Tokyo Tower now. They answered while I was typing. Yeah, but we probably got it. Diff we probably have better answer. Say, mm. Does Gikachu like literature? Oh, it's an introvert, so they probably do, right? Yeah, well, that's that's a decent answer. 
failed to read the room. Oh, fuck you, man. Which describes Giga 2 socially? Oh, well, let's go introvert. No, they don't like that? Oh, shit. Is Giga 2 fashionable? So, so. Turbio's working on their self-confidence when it comes to self-expression. Yeah. Turbio's so relatable. Yeah, right. They would like a place to rest their tired tails. What qualities would GigaTube wish to pass to future generations? Powerful tail. They were happy with that. First a shell, okay. Ah, just a little choo-choo. Did we get to do Tokyo Tower again or is it? Ah, okay. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Whoa, breaking news network. I've got to stop doing that. It's really <laughs> hurting my throat. Brevity, I don't think I'm getting the hang of this uh, Isin Denshin door stuff. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that, Lucky? I'm unsure about how that date went. The kaiju aren't so certain either. Mm -hmm. Brevity, do kaiju like the landmarks that they elect to level? Yes. They generally seem to favor them. Mm -hmm. What about the landmarks they dislike? Mm -hmm. Not every kiss needs to be French. <laughs> Tell that to my librarian. Oh. The unstoppable kaiju couple Turpachi. It, no, not the ship name. Is strolling by one fathom bank lighthouse. Let's go live to the scene. I've just noticed my... Does Giga 2 dream? Hell yeah. I love dreaming. So they're introverted and... Giga 2 dreams of Turpio. What is Giga 2's top pet peeve? Bragardocio. I don't even know what that is. Tailgating. I'm gonna go tailgating because they have a tail. Oh no! Oh. Are they older or younger? Yeah, they're older. Okay, that was a good, just a good guess. They have a couple name I got already, yeah. Gigachu is attracted to the wisdom that comes with age. Is Gigachu into piercings? They have a hard skin. So, if I say no. Oh, they're happy with that answer. Oh, it's not opposed to getting one. Mm. On precipitation. Well, we're in the water right now. But they are like a rock thing. Boo! Oh. <laughs> Isn't completely opposed. Okay. Which is Gigatu? A creature of the night? A neither. They look tired as shit. Oh, no! What? Doesn't care for the dark. Are we taller? Yes. Oh. Turpio is into tall kaiju, so it's a great match. Mm. Turpio wants to know what attracts Giga 2. I can't say tail, can I? I have to go with, which, what do we think? Is it going to be wisdom, the tail? If the tail is very, you know, on the outside. And they're older than I am. Wisdom. Yes! We're going to... Here we go. Oh. Act one is done. Edu education, music, psychology, and security. It's getting. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write it down on my cheat pad right here. So it loves education, music. Psych and security. If I can't spell security. And it doesn't like braggardios, whatever that is. Sports. I fucking hate sports too. Risks. 
I'm bullying. Bullying. Right, okay, this could come in handy. Right, let's go and see Angkor Wat. That's Cambodia, I believe. Whoa, breaking news network. We have special interview with Mayor Pan Panjandrum. Thank you for having thank you for having me on. Hey. Good evening, sir. Mm. What is the military's position regarding the kaiju? We will not allow these creatures to continue their catastrophic courting. Uh. How can you stop the biggest romance the world has ever seen? Mm. We wouldn't want this information gained in the hands of the enemy. Huh? I don't think the kaiju is I don't think of the kaiju as enemies. Yeah. I don't think the kaiju watch our program because not one has paid me a visit yet. Uh. I suppose it'd be alright to declassify a little simply, since military might will always overcome love. <laughs> Our bombs will obliterate any chance of romance before they arrive at even the most remotely romantic landmarks. Terpatu is undeter in undeterred in settling in at Ankar Wat. Mm -hmm. What? I must go. Mm. And we must go live to the scene. Mm. Is Gikachu educated? Yes. I learned that they like education. Gigachu is homeschool. <laughs> is Gigachu into ornamentation? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Uh. Turpio thinks plain. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. What? On walls? Oh, they like security. They like security. They like security. Yeah, let's. Be <laughs> While we actually look like destroy these walls, appreciates good walls and boundaries. Just could you follow events? Um, we'll go. Oh, there we go. I just was just gonna go middle ground because I didn't think it could be wrong. Turbio tolerates news in moderation. Is this relationship worth fighting for? You damn right. That was an easy question. Hell yeah! Chirpy doesn't especially like fighting, but wholeheartedly agrees. No decorating. Oh. Ooh, this one's gonna be a lot harder. Should we go and destroy the Eiffel Tower? Hell yeah. Ornamentation is decorating or flower arranging. Okay. Oh. As kaiju couples love relationship matures, so too shall our reporting. Oh. Are we finally doing that deep dive on Giga Chu? Does Chu have a dark secret? Spill the tea, brevity. Yeah. Giga Chu appears to wear Chu's heart on Chu's sleeve. Chu has the heart motif down. <laughs> we will be focusing on the terrestrial titan known as Terpio. Oh. What makes that turtle to scorpion tick? Or is he a tortoise scorpion? <laughs> Terpio isn't defined as turtle or tortoise. Terpio is Terpio. I get you. Terpio, I too defy definition. Ah. Are you saving Big Ben for last? Nah, we're going to crush that next. Prior to being roused by Giga 2's ch ch charms, Boo Boo has led a soli sol solitary life amongst the dunes of the Gobi Desert, playing melancholy melodies on their colossal didgeridoo. Boo Boo, how's it going? Welcome back. Oh. I heard Terpio played last year when I was on Walkabout. Oh. The song suggests a tragic past, leading to trust issues. Chirpy has an open much about it, but is leading the way, leading theory amongst musicians. Mm. How will the nigh invulnerable lovers allow themselves to be vulnerable? Yeah. Giga Tune needs to be consistent and not personalize any of Turpio's trust mm. issues. Turpio should stick with therapy, possessing the trauma, and takes one thing day at a time. Oh. Let's see if they put on that advice into practice. We go live to their latest date. Uh, if you ask me. Um. Yeah. Oh, what? That's not. Sometimes they're detriment. Oh well. I don't know. Big city, more stuff to destroy. The oh, what? Psychology. Oh, thank God for that. If it was in the Gobi, why the fuck was it in the sand? I don't know. Moved by domes. Oh, what well, fuck did I know? 
Oh, we're, we're, we're okay. Oh, yeah, their shape. Oh, I don't like sports. So we'll go number two. Uh, mm. He's giga you into fitness. Boo to sports. They get their steps in sometimes. What does giga do for... Which does... Oh! They like hot weather, right? Like the desert, so warm weather. Both want a warm embrace. What was giga most formative experience? <clears throat> oh, Jesus, I don't know. A KPG extinction event, the printing press. I, I tell you guys who don't. I don't understand. Uh, which one be better? We need to destroy this. Boo the sports, yeah. Is it printing press, melting ice caps, or KPG? Is that supposed to be like the KGB? Extinction, how does that feel? Oh no, wait, they like education, so is the printing press? All right, we'll go number three. Yo, you guys, let's go. We're going to get a massive good old smooch. This is going to be a team effort right here. Everyone get in here with your tongues. Here we go. Hey, we, that was together. We did that one as a team. Let's get Big Ben on the go. Hang on, though. I've got to check my thing here. All right. Here we go. Socio emotionally intellectual lover. Oh, Jesus, man. I don't even know what that means. Time and giving. Wisdom. Knowledge. And perspective. Greek love style. I don't even know what that is. Philautia. Healthy and secure. Ooh, you gotta do some work. Gonna have to move. Hey, no worries, boo. We'll get that work done. Brain stop working after hearing that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Oh, we gotta romance this volcano next. But this one's super cute. I don't know. We only did this one because it was in Australia. I'm not going to lie. Well, breaking news. Giga 2 and Terpy will continue their powerful pursuit of love. Hello. Their relationship has grown so strong. Not strong enough. Hello. Welcome back, Mayor. A new plan is in motion, so you won't have to worry about reporting on any relationship tomorrow. Oh. I wasn't worried until you said that. Mm. I'm sure our viewers would like to, us to report on your stratagem. If you're able to tell us more... As I was saying, their relationship is not as strong as you'd think. Mm. How do you know how strong I think they are? Uh, Our intelligence analyst uncovered a weakness we can exploit. Empathy. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Yes. yes. We will convince the couple to split for the sake of others' safety. Aren't the stronger together, though? <laughs> they do seem stronger together. Of course. That's why we're breaking them apart. The drones are en route to threaten them right this moment. We better go live to the scene and see what happens. Boo to Big Ben. What is Giga 2's biggest fear? Rejection. <laughs> Crowds. 100%. Oh, but rejection. Oh. Turbio replicates the acceptance, yeah. What kind of conversational list is Giga Chew? I feel like they're a listener. So 
So I'm gonna go for Talker. Yeah! Turbio likes to listen, I thought so. What is Gigachu most proud of? They don't really care about sports and braggadios or whatever that is. So I'm going to go for stories, wisdom and knowledge, wits. We're going to go stories. Yeah! Because they like education and stuff, right? They also value experiences. What would Giga 2 break up with Terpio to protect them? Boastful or arrogant behavior? No. No. Hell yeah! Those drones can go suck it. <laughs> Oof. Here we go. What's this? That's what the Google machine told you. Thank you, Jimmy. Helping. Oh, we should go and say hello to America. Which one do Americans not like? Oh, this was a gift from the French. Let's get rid of this. The breaking news. Gigachu and Toby have dominated the headlines, but they aren't the only kaiju couple making waves. What is this? In order for us to bring our viewers complete coverage, let's check in with these other gigantic romantics. Mm. Who do we have here? God, 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 Garuda. Oh my God. Garudan, the flexing fowl, has found a friend in the exceptionally swole Sarth the Snake. Oh. How did a snake and a bird become best buds? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Their relationship began as a flexing rivalry, but developed into a buff bond between bros. Woohoo! As you get back to the gym to pump up my chance for romance. They were recently seen exercising at the Coliseum. Where have Giga Chad and Trippio been getting their steps in? Let's go live to their latest date. That's super cute that there's some others dating. Could Chigaju be someone who didn't share their political beliefs? Um. All right, yeah, it was. Okay. Does so <laughs> They're, they're a bit self-conscious, though, right? Wow, that was not the right answer. Uh. It matters a little. Oh. Mm. Is, am I vegan? They like healthy. I'm just, we're just going for the neutral answers right now. It's not really helping. Gigi is only a level one vegan. Oh, was that it? Oh, we didn't even get to destroy it fully. That was disappointing. Oh my god, that was a bad date. Let's get this golden great bridge down. Holy shit, quicklier. Oh. The stakes of dating are much higher now than the military's involved. Oh. That's a new grounds. That's new grounds tank. Why did that day end with poorness? The relationship is unlikely to progress if the dates aren't great. Oh, how often relationships falter in the face of military might. Is that a common relationship problem? Yeah. Indeed it is. Is there levels to vegans? I guess there are. Mm. I did it a tank commander. A relationship got stuck in a rut, lost traction in the end, we never really opened up. <laughs> you have the most unique war stories, Lucky. <laughs> oh, uh, you only lose in love when you stop fighting. <laughs> Turpichu hasn't quit either, let's go live. Here we go. All right, those were difficult questions right there. Am I musical? Hell yeah. I know they like music. They shared fond memories of coming out of their shell tour. Is a fan of forests. Yeah? Yeah! They share an affinity for foliage. I knew this had Eliza all over it. How does Gigachu relax? Music or... I'm going to go music again. Here we go. Did, did you catch it? I caught the big fish lich, yeah. And then we moved over to here. 
Compose poetry. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, San Francisco, but your bridge is no more. Heart parched and oasis your kiss. Here he comes, let. <laughs> Oh, we need one more good date. I don't like these four people up on this rock. I think they've been up there. Is the green one Eliza? No. But we found it in Australia, and Eliza has clearly befriended it and taught it about the love of foliage. Tanks and bombs and guns don't even scratch the surface of their romance. Major Panandrenum joins us once more to discuss the military's latest response to the unstoppable love affair. Hmm. We're exploring alternative methods of combating these all murmurs monsters, and we believe we've found a weakness to exploit. Our intelligence reports suggest that Turbio suffers from seasonal depression. It affects about 6% of the populace. How is this relevant? Uh, Our weakness control division is ready to rain upon their romance, and the force cast is a gloomy breakup. <laughs> Turbio might not be. <clears throat> Turbio might not mind the rain with Gigi brightening the days. We have a secret weapon currently under construction if it comes to that unlikely uh. event. Mayor, I thank you for the glimpse of what the future may hold. For the present, let's go live to the date in progress. Is that going to kiss you? Yeah. yeah blah, 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 blah. Am I multilingual? It's education. Oh, yeah. I mean, hi. I love singing in different languages. Oh, I never said anything about singing. What does Gigachu attribute to success? Hard work. Oh, Jesus. I won't overcome trauma. Oh, dear. How do I feel about wood? Uh, I like a good bit of wood. Yeah, we love some good wood. They share a pithy perspective regarding wood. Am I theatrical? You like music and shit, so we better go with yeah. Here we go. We got one more question. Where does Gigachu want to be in 10 years? Harmonizing on top of the world. Just to be with Turpio. Oh. Oh. That has to be good. What? We've got... Well, what? Oh, that's some bullshit, bro. I'm going to Canada. <sighs> oh, don't say that. This is the second time Topachi was forced oh. to withdraw. They may have lost their battle, but the war is far from over. How will they recover from this loss? Well. Gigachu must simply so must keep supply lines and communication open to avoid losing Turpio to the war of attrition to, uh, of, oh. to depression. You only lose in love when you stop fighting, yeah. right? Well said. It looks like they're ready to give it another go. The game rigged, it really is. Ah, I'm in my element. Am I complicated? Not really. Ah, oh, Jesus, those answers are not good. I follow my heart. Yes, ah. Oh. Okay. I'm a peacekeeper. They don't like risk and bullying. <clears throat> what music do I like? Oh, well, shit, I don't know. What the hell's Cumbia? Is that come by all, my lord? Come by all. Wait, what, what is Mathra? Eat Cumbia? I'm gonna risk Cumbia. I want a Cumbia in turquoise, whatever. Well, Turpio. Math rock, you reckon? Or are you just laughing at it? They like education and they like music. Cumbia is a folklore genre and dance from Colombia. Ah, oh, fuck it. We'll go Math rock then. Ah, oh, GG's nice choosing, Seikatsu and Eliza. And Jimmy, thank you for that. Turpio like sleepy tea. Where does Goku do you want to be in 10 years? Right, we had this question before, and it's not number three. 
harmonizing. Yes! The Google machine helping. Jimmy, you're really good at using the Google machine. Finally. Not bamboozled this time, game. Hell yeah. In order to overcome past trauma and current military, Gigatru and Torpio must establish understanding and trust through healthy habits and appropriate boundaries. Right, we're gonna we're gonna stomp ruffle stomp America. Let's get to that space needle. Which is in Seattle, I believe. Major Pandran pa Pandandrum's back. <laughs> Our efforts have finally come to fruition, the kaiju dating season's at an end. How can you be so confident? Yeah. Especially in the lines of all the prior failures. The military's yellow bond relationship ed eradication robot Mechatu has been deployed. Mechatu's advanced systems are specifically designed to evaluate the relationship and exploit their weaknesses. What happened to the cyber warfare front? Actually, Mechatu is a culmination of the cyber warfare front cyber bullying campaign. By targeting turbials and scourges, we reveal that she's just in the be a relationship. Is this, is this the end of love? Let's go live. Oh no. So you think your love is pretty good? Hell yeah! That love is the biggest around! Where was the first date? Opera house. Come on, lose an arm! Remember it like it was yesterday. Most formative experience. Reconciling upbringing. First. No, I don't! Number one? Are you sure? Turpio's most formative experience? I didn't write that down. That's not on my that's not on my chart. Oh no. Recon reconciling upbringing, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, I was gonna get it right. Okay, yeah, thank you, Seikatsu. Good listening. How was Gigachu's upbringing? Is there a wrong answer here? I mean, in my life, I had a good upbringing. I would go full thumbs up. You know, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to start showing off and, you know, so maybe a neutral one would be better. Or is this like a learning experience for over there? Or maybe it would be like to show them that they're compatible. Would be like a middle ground, you know, we share the, we share that compassion of thingy. You know, fuck him, I'm just gonna go. Well, well, that's fine. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. Does Gigachu recognize anxiety? Has to be anxiety. Underbelly. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Can, of course. Wait, what? How is this failing? I don't understand. Oh. I don't understand. Why was it negatives? Oh. The romance is dead. No. Oh. The military machine was stronger. We were doing so well. Sometimes you make all the right choices and still fail. That's true. Lucky, but it probably didn't help. They made the wrong choices. Where did the love go? I oh, know some fucking robot turned up and stole it all. Ah, oh. the love is the battlefield. Oh well, next one. Brutal. That's brutal. Ah. Huh? Yeah. 
Fuck you, I'm going for the I'm going for this person. Oh. That's very astute. Tepfra. Wait. Should we three heads are better than one, right? That's right, Turpio needs a little time to itself. What do you mean, Turpio? Turpio's dead! Turpio abandoned me because of some shitty robot. We clearly won't, weren't cut out. What are you? I don't know what I was supposed to be doing. I was talking to them all. Wait, what? Wait, what do we do now? Do we have to start again? I don't know what we're supposed to do now. I've talked to every single one of them. Turpio doesn't even on the map anymore. Why were they talking about Turpio? I thought I just had to go and date a different one now. Oh. Oh. Well... Is this the end? Oh! Here we go! Let's get revenge! Fighting for love! Here we go! The relationship is grounded and there's little left to report. It's not like you wanted to give up on love, Lucky. I'm not the one giving up. The Gigachu is now the Jews headed to the Antarctica. What is that? Is that Turpio? Is that hope? It's the end. Major, why are you here? We knew that the relationship was too strong for a single defeat, so we had to prepare a finishing blow. What are you planning? Mm. Mekachu will once again confront them with the weakness of their relationship, and Mekachu will prove that Turpio's trauma and insecurities will prevent a healthy partnership. Oh. Right, chat, we've got to come together, just like Captain Planet. Here we go. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. We hardly blame Gigachu not taking a tempered and supportive approach to empower Turpio. Let's go live. Here we go. Are you back for more? Right. Are you back for more? More what? More defending? Yes. More beating up? No. Oh, I see. We were just running to the other monsters to ask for advice. I thought we just failed and we were just moving on. Okay. Okay. They're both back. Where was Tepuchu's first kiss? The Statue of Liberty. No, the Sydney Opera House. Oh, technically on the lips. It was technically on the lips, but it was at Sydney Opera House. Oh, well, which one do you choose there? Two? Okay. Okay. <laughs> The kiss was unforgettable. What is Terpio's love languages? Oh, time and giving. I actually wrote it down. What is Gigachu's worst habit? Huh? What is my worst habit? Biting my nails, hibernation, or playing with my tail? Well, they're, they're insecure about their tail, I think. So the tail one, I don't know if that one's good or bad. <clears throat> Two, you think hibernation? Three, maybe? But then if my worst thing is hibernation, they like to stay indoors. So me hibernating really won't be too much of an issue. Now you were changing for three. We're going for three. Yep. Okay. It wasn't the worst answer. I think it was hibernation too. Yeah, that's what I thought. How does Gigachu handle Turpio behind their shell? Patience. 
I think he's gonna be patience. It could be understanding, though. Two. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Patience was a good guess. How is Giga 2 suited for Turpio? Integrity. Absolutely integrity. I will let you guys also have a pitch in. Is that a new thing the younglings are saying these days? I think so, Jimmy. I think so. I don't know. You know, we'd have to get Schwafflin in here. Or Shiplum. They know all the, the new lingos. Down, 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 down. It's got to be integrity. I'm going to go integrity. Is this the robot down now? Oh! Giga 2 wishes to express what Chu loves most. Their wisdom. Yes! We're back! Rabu Rabu Bimu! Metal, 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 metal! We're back, baby! Terpazio is back! Yay! Mecha 2, the Cyber Poly has been defeated! Oh. Will this result in Terpio, the code dependent conclusion of the military had planned? Yeah. In contrast to those unhealthy expectations, Giga 2 did not diminish Terpio's autonomy by facing Mecha 2 and Zir instead. Mm. Giga displayed appropriate boundaries by employing Turpio's autonomy to stand on their own six feet. Navigating such nuance is a massive challenge for any relationship, let alone one battling a massive robot. Where did Giga 2 learn such healthy relationship habits? There's still so much to learn we don't know about Giga 2. Yeah, if Chu eats or poops. Or what would happen if Giga 2 had chosen to date another one? I suppose someone would have to play again to find out. See you next time! Wow, this game was actually kind of short. Yeah, we got a good ending. Skipping new one. Playing. Loading. We're going to go with she, her this time. We'll go new pronouns. Hello. Ah, we've already seen this before. You haven't got all the achievements, yeah. Well, right, who are we going to go uh, to see? Should we go for this woman in the... Should we go for this volcano lady with the boober? Let's go volcano lady with the boober. Voluptuous volcanic vixen is venting a vortex of lava. That sounds like my kind of lady. The naming of the mountain maiden has been hotly contested, but the moniker favored by Pacific Island volcanologist... Volco... Volcanoologist is Tefra. Uh. Yeah, here we go. Let's go, Tefra. Woo! All right. Let's go visit East Moai. Mo, Mo. Yeah, Moai. Yeah, I thought you would know, Ship. You seem to be up to date on everything. I uh, I thought you would know. Uh, I, I, was, I was wrong in this instance, but then I was... I've been wrong before. So, there we go. Gigaju's burning passion meets Tefra's molten magma at Moai. What has driven the kaiju to bully our malevolent Moai? The language of love is leveling landmarks. Yes. All right, yeah, let's we can skip that bit. Right? Oh yeah, look at that jiggle physics. Does Gigaju come here often? Uh, it's Island Pacific. It's uh, you sure. Yeah. Desuka. They will share the pleasure of familiar destruction together. How does Tefra look? Looking like a million bucks, yeah. What? Tefra's ex gave her seven thumbs up? Yeah. It's my first time. Tefra's flattered. Tefra wants to know what first attracted Giga 2 to her. Smoky eyes, hot body. Billowing tresses. I'm not gonna lie. It was her smoky eyes. 
I don't know if that's a good thing, though. Her hot bod. Billowing tresses. What's a tress? Jimmy, you need to ask the Google machine what a tress is, please. I think it means the plumes, like her hair. But I'm not sure. It was clearly her gigantic... You know... Magnum memories. But, um... I think we should go her hair because it is very nice. Hair, you guys reckon hair as well? A long lock of woman's hair. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Eliza. Thank you, Zekatsu. Hair. Boom. Oh, well, that wasn't the worst thing. Uh, hmm. Just get, get you like the Moai. Number two! Oh! Do we just say no? Yeah! We don't like anything! No Moai will stand between their love. Does Giga 2 fit kiss on the first date? Ooh! I already got it. Do I kiss on the first date though? That is the big question. Before I was yes. I was 100%. Hell yeah, I do. Because I'm all about, you know. Shoo, shoo. I'm just going for it, you know. Balls to the wall. And she's a hot piece. <laughs> oh! They're heating up. Here we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. Volatile volcanic vixen. What a kiss. I know, right? Mm. Hey. Brevity, do you know the number one question? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Well, it's the same well, thing. Uh, uh, mm. ah. She's seeking stability. Right. Oh. <laughs> it's off. It, it's okay if things are off to a rocky start. Oh. Right, she's seeping, seeking stability. Is Giga 2 vegan? No. Hound, how's it going? What did you walk into? Um, a, 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 kaiju, a kaiju dating sim. Do I keep up with current events? Ah, uh, so so. Our, that's not a bad answer. Isn't as trendy. Oh. Do I like literature? No. Ooh! Am I into piercings? Sure. She would look like she'd have some kinky piercings. Oh, Jesus, man. The family one is so difficult. Would she, a volcano, have a good relationship with her family? Volcanoes are usually just boopy on their own, right? But then they're usually like a part of a mountain range. Or, well, then again, Fuji-san just stands on its own. I'm tempted to go no, because I feel volcanoes are pretty... But then I'm going to go... Friendship, okay. What's my favorite animal? Tells me what it is. Yeah, but Jimmy, you did the typing as well, though. Whatever a tardy grade is. Whatever that is. What's a tardy grade? Oh, Jesus. We're going to have to Google it again. Googling! Unless J Jimmy might beat me to it though. A tardy grade is a water. Oh, it's a little, little, little munchkin. It's a moss piglet. That's not a fucking animal, is it? <clears throat> Known colloquially as a water bear or moss piglet. It's like a little, <clears throat> like, microscopic thing. What would she like then? 
What what answer would she like? A mole. Because it digs a hole. Oh, fuck. Oh. What's my biggest fear? Failure. Death not her fear, yeah. Is g am I affectionate? Yeah! Yeah, we succeeded somehow! We succeeded somehow. Mole was the wrong answer. It's clearly goat. But yeah. I've run out of drink again. Whew. Oh, Lord. We're going to go and see the Teatro Amonas. Amazonas right now. Then here we go. Oh, I'm thinking I'm getting the hang of this. It's in Destiny store stuff. Are they? Are they? Oh, what does your heart tell you? Aww. I sense that that was a great date. Was it the kiss? It was the kiss. Mm. Brevin, do the card you like the landmarks? They like to level? Uh, okay. Oh. <clears throat> Here we go. Which is Gigachu, a morning monster? She's a morning one, isn't she? No! Doesn't do mornings, you're a volcano! Oh, yeah. Am I aquatic? You are in the water, yes. Loves making waves. Am I into sports? Now! Does she look sporty? She doesn't look too sporty, but she might be. You know? I'm not, I'm a morning, well, kind of I am. This is not, the what she, he's a morning person. Yeah, but you know, I'll just do my own stuff. I'm gonna risk a, a neutral. Let's see what she gets. Uh. No, she's not. Mm -hmm. Am I multilingual? Always go yes. Wow. Uh. We'd rather focus on the language of love. <laughs> what is Giga 2 most proud of? Kisses. That's not good either. Ah. Uh. Oh, nay. Oh, but this is okay in Act One, I think. Act One, I think this is okay. Yeah. Act One, it's okay. It's Act Two where shit comes to uh, lava and love. Oh. She likes fire, baking, consistency, and patience. Right, here we go. Got my notepad out. Fire, baking, consistency, patience. She doesn't like the paparazzi. So anything cameras, right? Gardening, passivity. Don't really know what that is but okay and uncertainty I don't know about that yes he's not a she's not a night person you're damn right I'm not we never visited here at Chichen Itza but last time we're gonna try to do the different ones ah oh, this guy again Let, I can skip through this a little bit now yeah Because they pretty much just say the same stuff. What's my take on walls? Buddha walls. Wait, why you like walls? Oh. She, she likes patience, hard work. For fuck's sake. This is not going to go well. I don't know who Gamera is. Not Dolly Parton, I know that. It's not gonna be that. Ooh, 
Who is uh, Gamera? Gamera. Oh, it's the other Gam Gamera. Oh, it's Gamera. I was like, I think pronounced it wrong. It's Gamera. That's like uh, the old Godzilla kind of thing, right? So it, the, the Maui, Maui's gonna be. Is that just like the people, right? The island, and she's an island, right? Is not taking action or staying in the background. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> so she's a s attention seeker and active. Oh. oh. They apparently have a history. Oh. No. Okay. Right, we're still in it. We're still in it. I'm into tattoos. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, she's got some tats. Am I mathematical? She likes consistency. She likes patience. Sure. What social cause is most important? Gender equality, climate change, disaster relief. Not taking action or staying in the background. Oh, I've got no idea. Disaster relief for her. She's a volcano. You know, if she if she blows, we're, we're ruined. Well, maybe we want her to blow, though. That's the problem. Baking, patience, consistency. Fuck it. Yes! Okay, I thought so. Oh. Refers to therapy as disaster relief. Absolutely. Okay, that was an easy question. Is it worth fighting for? Yeah. They both know that it takes pressure to make diamonds and to keep the blood pumping. Here we go. Whew! Somehow, we've got... Three good ones so far, and one so-so. Alright, we did those last time. Uh, let's go. She talked about the Sphinx before. Let's go and see the Sphinx. Uh. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. Mm. What's bubbling beneath Tephra's surface? Is it magma or lava? I can never remember which is which. Mm. It's magma. Uh. Magma got it. What else do we know? From studying the geological record, scientists have learned that Tephra may have been an orphan when she was a young cinder cone. Aww. Is her fiery temper a test to lackluster lovers as she recreates her lonely island? Childhood? Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's expected that extreme weather events of 500 to 35 to 536 were due to Tephra having a terrible breakup. Oh. That's even more catastrophic than any relationship I've ever had. All right. Here we go. Well, Let's go. Uh, oh. Oh. <clears throat> I'm taller, so shorter. Hell yeah. That was an easy question, if you get it. If we just got to. <laughs> Temper is fine with being giga too shorty. Am I musical? Now, she doesn't like paparazzi, gardening, passivity, or uncertainty. But she likes fire baking, consistency, and patience. Sure. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay, okay. So she likes music as well. We should probably write some of these down. Music. So she does like music. Care for concrete. It's like walls, isn't it? She likes boundaries. It's a good surface. Sure. Okay, okay. Uh. They are concrete and tolerant of high temps. Am I scientific? Yeah, scientific wanting to understand you, baby. Is that one more or two more? Mm. What was Jigen's most form formative experience? 
Melting the ice caps. Hell yeah. Another big tutu coming in. Mm -hmm. ah. Right. <clears throat> Seeking. Steamy but stable. All right, love languages, LL. Touch and time. We might need these for later. Virtues or courage. Bravery <clears throat> and vitality. Can't spell, but it doesn't matter. Greek love style is Eros. Ooh. Passionate and romantic. There we go. What is? What if the icon of sin from Doom was in this game? That would be really good. <clears throat> the icon from sin from Doom. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, as one of the monsters, you mean? That would be great to date it. That could be a good DLC. Is that counted as a kaiju, though? I don't think it's counted as a kaiju. Yeah. But bird up, bro. How's it going? Good to see you. Welcome in. How are you doing? We're on our second monster so far. We've already smashed one. And we're on to our next one. So, we're hoping uh, it would uh, go. We're going to go to Mount Kilimanjaro. I actually don't remember our order of our dates. That's the problem. Shit. So we went to Moai first. What was this one called? Oh, no. I don't actually remember what they were all called. I've not been looking what they're called. Oh, shit. We should have chose the easy ones that I know the name of. Their pursuit of love, their relationship... Okay, right. Okay, this is... Okay. You say the same thing as last time. Yes. All right. Drones are coming in. Am I big on bridges? To build them, yeah. And then you, you like to burn them down. I didn't think it was going to work. You have to burn that bridge when they come to it. I thought so. You're older than me, I believe. Hell yeah! Let's destroy a mountain. Mature mountain, yeah. Has Gugu been more affected by positive or negative emotions? I feel like she's more affected by negative. Yeah, I thought so. Because she's hot and temperate. Here we go. Yeah. Do, do I dream? Sure. Okay. This is going reasonably well. Steamy dreams. Are you a gold digger? No. Am I? Steamy but stable. Courage. I, I, we got to say no, right? I want diamonds, baby. Hell yeah, I want diamonds, not gold. Yeah, I dig Tefra, not gold. That's right. They could do a lot of monsters in this game, to be honest. It's pretty mild. It's pretty mild? Pretty wild. Right. Did we do the Taj Mahal last time? Let's go to the Great Wall of China. See what happens. Is this going to be the... Um, Oh, the frack and the legendary long, long tongue lizard. Wow, look at that. Moved on already. Here we go. Am I educated? Yeah. What? Kikuchu has demolished educational issues from kindergarten to universities. Oh. You like music, so yes. Okay, here we go. A 
Educated in love, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. I mean, I thought I was educated. She's been around for a while. Mm -hmm. I might feel a little physical, 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 philosophical. <clears throat> Instead of the obvious popular movie Kaiju that they put a monster which only has one film. Oh. Well, yeah. I think most, yeah, I don't know where they've got most of these Kaiju from, to be honest. Am I still philosophical, though? Would a volcano be ph philosophical? I'm looking at my notes that I've written down. No, I can't determine anything from it. Middle ground. Oh! She's an entirely nihilistic. Okay. Do I compose poetry? You like music. Patience. You like patience. You hate gardening. You like touch and time. Pat romance. Po poetry is romantic. This is cool. Yeah. Let's go. Unbridled earthly urges, embracing seismic surges. Volcanic lovers erupt. Into big kisses on the chops. Okay, we need one more. We need one more. Right, we need an easy one to remember. That's not easy to remember. St. Basil's Cathedral. Wait, is that the Kremlin? Is that the full name for the Kremlin? St. Basil's uh, Cathedral? No, oh. Oh, okay, right, okay. All right, is this the one with the... Oh, no, this isn't yet, right? Am I into fitness? Oh, shit, I don't know. She's not said anything about fitness. Who's the gremlin? Yeah. Um, me. I'm the little gremlin. <laughs> she looks like she works out. Yeah, okay. Good star. They look forward to hot yoga. On precipitation. We don't like precipitation, do we? Yeah, we don't like precipitation. It could damage your smoky hair. They prefer a dry heat. How do I feel about mountains? I love mountains. Oh, mountains are my jam. When, where does Giga Chad want to be in 10 years? Oh. Right. I feel like she's quite hot headed. Obviously, so I'm gonna go. I go number three. But under the sea, married with children. Do you think, Jimmy, she's gonna like that? Is she? Is she gonna be. Is this hot headed volcanic vixen? The, uh, the one, the one, the one that wants to have little, little, little volcanoes. You're just guessing. I was thinking number three. We'll risk it. Jimmy could be right, though. We'll, we'll, I'm going to go with this, and then we can see if Jimmy was right. Jimmy might have been right. Ah, uh. oh, could have turned up the heat. Jimmy was right. That's a fail now. That's so stupid. You know what we need? We need Tokyo. We need Tokyo Tower. Oh. All right, News Grounds is back. <laughs> How do I relax? She likes baking. Okay. Feel about wood. We like wood. There's an old question. 
like to watch it burn. Does size matter? Sure. No! Tevra doesn't want commentary regarding her snow line. Oh. Okay, she's ready to settle down in one place. Here we go. Two. No, Jimmy was wrong as well. Oh, brutal. It's under the sea is the answer. We're going back to sit Australia. Save me. Do I dig deserts? They're dry heat, yes. What? Oh. Mm. Sand dunes are basic! Oh. Fan of forests. No, boo to forests. They're gardens. Yeah, boo. This one's not for Eliza. What are you hobbies? Baking. Okay. Here we go. Question deal breaker again. Under the sea. Oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> that burning passion will raise the sea levels. Ah, oh, finally. We're back at the Mecker Man. Mwah! Man, her lips are super delish. Blah, blah, blah. All right, here we go. Gigachu has to be hot-blooded enough to reverberate Tefra's affection, but cool-headed enough to channel the heat of her trauma-rooted temperament. Everyone's just traumaed to shit. What better place to destroy than Paris? All right. Is this the macro thing again? Right. I'm wondering if you have to fail this every time. Yeah. I wonder if you fail this regardless, you know. So that you have to go and speak to the other monsters. Oh. Uh. Is that a Gundam? Yeah. <laughs> it's a Mecha Gundam, yeah. Uh. Water types. Oh! I think you automatically fail this. I think you have to fail this. I don't think there's any way to win this. Look, like, if you say yes, then it's obviously no. You know, am I suited? Why would yes be the wrong answer? I think you have to fail it there. The military was stronger. So now we have to go and run around again, I think, and look for all the... Other ones. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah, because we're looking for asking mm -hmm. advice. Mostra is comfortable with consistency. <laughs> Gigachu can achieve a stability. Right, okay. Oh, hey there. Uh. Feels Tepper is too temperamental. Gigachu's consistency is an unshakable counterbalance. Queen Cedra pr proposes Gigachu get a partner with more proprietary. No way. She fell for Tefra's hot lava love. Ah. Guardian Seek suggests find a partner with more discipline. Oh. Oh, but we might. Uh, are we going to do another one today? I don't know if we're going to play again today. He's oh. more interested in intellectual what? relationships. Oh. Here we go. We're back again. We gotta smash it this time. I should have saved. Oh, oh, well, yes. oh. 
so we could s s save scum. Forgot. Here we go. Are you back for more? Yes. So she's temperamental. Where was the first kiss? In Moai. Okay. That's good. Her love languages are touch and time. Down with this ship. Gigachu's worst habit. Flatulence. Swearing? <laughs> Deadly gas is a common place amongst volcanoes. How does Giga handle such a temperamental partner? With patience. Hell yeah. Patience was the same answer last time as well. How is Giga 2 suited for con con constancy fire resistance? Constant. Contact. Contact. Constant. Why do they use words that I'm just too this stupid to understand? Enduring of unchanged. Being faithful and dependable. Winning! Ding, 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 ding! That's that one then. Probably, it's usually the word I don't know. Here we go. Gigi wish to express what she loves most about Tefra. Hot body, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 it's courage. Labu Dabu Bimu. This gives you the answer. Just like, no, try again. Try again. That one. <laughs> Consistency. Wait, that's how you... Sp that's what consistency is? I thought it was spelled differently. Oh. Yay! Huh. Yay! We did it! <clears throat> See you next time! Wow! What a smoking date! Wow! Wait! Woo! Woo! Winning! Ding, 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 ding! You see? The relationship did not sink at all and I saved it. Ah. Oh. Because I didn't think it was... Con but Constance? Is it not Constancy? Constancy. Con Consistence is... Is this no? Consistence. This is consistency, no? Constancy before was... This, Janai. So, but they're not different words. But the four was constancy. This is version seven? I think they used the wrong word. Oh, well, I don't know. Constancy means the quality of being enduring and unchanging. The quality of being faithful and dependable. So, it could have been. Ah, uh, did you win? I won. Consistency is the syllables. Yeah, yeah, it's the syllables, yeah. Yeah, we won. We won. We smooched the shit out of her. We smooched her. We smooched her good. Look. Look, look, look. There you go. He did a fair. What else is there here? Visit all 24. Gigachu's first great date. What do you mean first great date? Surely should I should have done that, right?
Loved and lost. I don't know how you get this one. We should have got this one, surely. Oh, well. Friend zoned. Oh, brutal. Brutal. What was the name of the turtle? Uh, Turpio. Turpio. You need to play it some more? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh dear. I don't know if we're going to play it more today. Should we do one more? I don't know. I, f I feel I've, I've, I've peaked in my dating world. I don't think I can get any better. The, the little bug seems super cute, though. The little, like, moth thing. <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What did we just play? Really? What did we just, just play? <laughs> 